I have an interesting product here to show you. I got some stuff a while ago from a company called Banggood. Yes, that's the company name, Banggood. And they're, they're kind of like a deal extreme. They're kind of like a, uh, I don't know, there's, the, there's really a plethora of these sites that um, stuff made overseas and they, they sell things for ridiculously cheap prices, uh, all kinds of flashlights and gadgets and electronics and stuff like that. And it's all free shipping and, and super cheap and it's really awesome. The only downside to ever ordering from those sites is it just takes a long time. But um, I've always had really good experience with it. I know some people on occasion will order something, they'll get something wrong. And because you're dealing with someone or a company that's overseas and the shipping process is so long, it could be kind of a discouraging thing if you get the wrong product. But honestly, most of the prices are so ridiculously cheap that it's worth the gamble. Put it that way, it's kind of a gamble. But I've always had good experience, and this particular company, uh, Banggood, has been great. I ordered a few things uh, that I wanted to uh, enhance my video reviews with, which I'm gonna be reviewing these things. In fact, I got a, a digital scale, because my old digital scale broke. I also got a calibration set to make sure the scale is on, you know, on the right specs, um, and is functioning properly. I got a, a pair of digital calipers really cheap too, which I wanna use uh, to you know, measure blade thickness and stuff like that in the future. So I'll be reviewing these products as well as you'll be seeing them in my future knife reviews. I wanted to, you know, get these tools to enhance the actual review itself and give you some more information and stuff like that while I'm filming them. So, anyway, um, I got this thing. <laughs> I saw this on the website and I thought it was awesome and it reminded me of something that was really cool, so I'll share that with you. But this is a, um, a Zippo style or a Zippo shaped USB lighter. And I know it seems strange, um, it's a, an electric lighter, so it does not have a flame. What it does is it heats this coil, okay? And it's basically, it's advertised and sold as a cigarette lighter. How it works is you open it like a regular Zippo, and then this wheel here, you're not actually striking. It's more or less a, a button, or not a button, more of a switch. So what you do is it's on a spring, and you just rotate it back. Now when you rotate it back and hold it, you're sending a current to that coil, and it heats up red hot. Okay, now this is used to light cigarettes. If you were, you know, have a regular cigarette, you were to hold this button back, you put the tip of your cigarette into the coils and it would light it. Now you can't, <clears throat> can't light pipes with this and you can't efficiently light a cigar. This is specifically for lighting cigarettes. Now if you're not a cigarette smoker, like myself, I don't smoke cigarettes, but I did have a, a, a reason to get this and something in mind, I wanna see if it would work and it does work beautifully. So I'm gonna share that with you right now. But first I want to tell you <clears throat> what kind of inspired me to get this. I mean, obviously it's a Zippo style thing, which is cool. I love any Zippos. I love, I love all the covert things too. Like I like, they make a um, Zippo flashlight. They make a Zippo pipe, you know, stuff like, actually I used to have a Zippo pipe back in the day. Back in the day, in the pothead days, I had a, a pipe that, uh, I'm sure some of you <laughs> watching this video even have it. But anyway, uh, I like covert things. They're, they make a Zippo style um, spy camera. It's just cool. But the reason that I got this is because I wanted to see, obviously I'm not lighting cigarettes, I'm not a cigarette smoker, but I had the idea that this would be perfect to efficiently burn paracord, okay? So I'm going to do that for you here. I have tested it and it does work beautifully. And that's why I'm basically showing this and talking about it in review because it's a really cool way to, um, to burn a paracord. Obviously you can do it with any kind of lighter, but the problem I've had before is when you use a traditional lighter or a traditional flame on this, whether it's a soft flame or a butane hard flame, what happens is uh, sometimes it'll overheat, it'll catch on fire. God, some of you guys out there, I know you know what this is like because you do constantly play with paracord and, and you know make, thing, make things with it and you're constantly lighting it. Have you ever had a ball of melted paracord drip on your finger? Good Lord, does that hurt? I'm talking about like you're, you're lighting it, you're trying to burn the ends. Oh no, it caught fire. Well, for whatever reason, you, you, you know, hesitate for a second and it, it actually just drips. Oh my God, molted liquid plastic. It is horrifically painful. I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather get a big old slice across my hand than just get a little drop of melted plastic on me. It's just a nasty, nasty burn. It kind of fuses with your skin. Ugh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Making me cringe. Um, but this is a, uh, a much more efficient way to burn the ends of your paracord. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Um, but I wanna talk about this real quick. Like I said, it is still a very efficient uh, lighter to light cigarettes with. And in fact, my grandfather 
um, used to have, on my father's side, he used to have a lighter in his car all the time, which I always liked. And it was maroon, and it was kind of long, and, you know, it's just like a little a little um, rectangle. And it had a little white plate on the top, and when he slid the plate open, the same thing. It would be a coil in there, and the coil would light up, and that's how we lit his cigarettes. So it's completely windproof. There's literally no flame here. So you're putting your, your cigarette or the end of the tobacco directly into this hot uh, coil. You can literally be in a hurricane and light a cigarette with this if you wanted to. Um, so it has that advantage as an actual cigarette lighter. Now the one he had took uh, two AAA batteries. This is charged with a USB plug. So you have a USB port, on, well obviously the USB on one side, and then this other, I don't know what the exact name of that size is, but of course that plugs into the, the, the bottom of the lighter. And you can now charge this uh, via USB in your computer. Um, there's a, a, a slew of different, you know, USB to wall um, plugs. If you want to get a, conver a conversion type piece, so you can plug this directly into the wall. You can do that. In fact, if you have an iPhone or a smartphone, most of them, you have that piece already. Um, a lot of cars, like my car, I can charge this in the car itself. It's just really cool. It's, it's fascinating. It's certainly a novelty, but it's very useful. So I'll show you that right now. Here I just have some... Fresh cut, I use yellow for demonstration purposes so you can see it really good. By the way, these are the instructions that came with this. Um, I can't read them because obviously they're in a different language. I don't know if that's uh, Japanese or Korean. I don't know what it is, but it's not for me to read. So if you can read it, there you go. There's the parts list. But yeah. <laughs> But that's what you get with it. You get this, you get a little case, which I threw out, of course. I threw out all my packaging right away. I forgot that I was gonna review this, so I threw it out. Uh, and then, of course, you get your little, your tiny little uh, USB plug. But anyway, here's how it works. Once again, um, you have this wheel, which you're just rotating. And when you rotate it fully until it stops, it completes the circuit inside and then lights that up red hot. All right, so what I do is take your power cord, and I literally touch the power cord to the coil. You'll see it'll smoke. I just pat it in, just like so. And you have a perfectly burned piece of power cord. So give it a second, and that's it. It's already dried. So you have a nice square tip. There's no molten plastic dripping here. Now, my one concern is that when you are burning this, it will leave plastic on there. So when you relight it, you'll get a little poof of smoke. But it completely burns off and you're back to just the coils. Now you'll see underneath the coil, I have a little bit of melted plastic under there. I don't know, I don't know how long this is going to last before that might become an issue, if it starts to build up or whatever. But I've done this to, I don't know, 20 or 30, um, you know, 20 or 30 times so far and it's been fine. That's the buildup that I've gotten thus far. So, this is how I'm actually using it. Let me do a fresh little cut. I've been using the Enlin knife lately. So I'm going to be reviewing this soon for you guys. So there we go. Nice fresh cuts. Once again, let that heat up. And just dab it in. And you can turn it like, see that one little piece hanging off the side there? Sticking out. I can rotate this to just hit that piece. So you can get a nice clean look on this as well. And there you go. That is sealed in. So it will not unravel or fray on you. So just interesting. I mean, this is, how, this is the application I'm using it, this for. You can use this for a plethora of things. You can light firework fuses on it if you wanted to. You could obviously light your cigarettes. That's what it's built to do. By using paracord in here, um, I do run the risk of ruining this because of the fact that I'm, I'm melting plastic around that coil. Like I said, it could get down, could build up. I don't know how that's going to affect the functionality of this lighter, but that's what I want to use it for, so that's what I'm doing. Um, it's really cool. It's 11 bucks with free shipping. Um, if you happen to be ordering from the site already or if you think this is really cool, it's worth it. Uh, I told, I, I should say I told you, I didn't tell you yet. Um, when I ordered this stuff, it took uh, two weeks, two full weeks to to uh, get the package. Of course, it comes like EMS, which is like the international, like uh, registered, whatever. I forget what it is, but it comes USPS, it comes postal, and you get the box, you know, and it's usually like, you know, a cardboard box and like wrapped in uh, yellow tape or something. You can, you can see it's from overseas. It's very distinguishable, but uh, yeah, two weeks on shipping time for this. 
You can see this one has a kind of black ice type finish if I have, have to compare it to a real Zippo. Very similar to black ice uh, or black chrome. Um, it does hold fingerprints very nicely. So if you're like me, you're constantly wiping them off because it bothers you because it looks bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it. It's got a cam system in here, so it works just like a Zippo. It will not open easily when it's closed. And when it's open, it won't close on you easily. That's what the cam is for. All right, set up just like a regular Zippo. Very, very cool. I like it. It's an interesting product. Like I said, it's been very useful for me. And if you're not into the paracord thing, if you happen to just be a cigarette smoker, you can't beat this for a, a functional lighter. There's literally no flame to blow out. There's no flame to dance around while you're trying to light your cigarette. You can light it in any condition. It could be raining, it'll still work fine. Um, and the biggest thing is you don't have to worry about fuel. I know a lot of you guys, you love your Zippos, but you just can't stand the fact that the fuel evaporates all the time. And if you do use your Zippo to light cigarettes, this is an awesome, awesome option. Never again when you have to put a single drop of fuel in there. Never again when you have to buy fuel. All you do is plug it in, charge it up, and you're good to go. I do not know offhand how long this holds a charge before it needs to be charged again, simply because I'm not using it to smoke cigarettes, so my use on it is, um, is limited. But uh, it works perfectly for what I've been using it lately, and uh, I like it for that. It's pretty cool. So, there you go. That is the USB Zippo style cigarette lighter. It's very, very cool. Um, can you do tricks with it? Eh, it's very slick. It's a slick design. I wouldn't do it. it would, it's going to mess up the hinge. It has a standard hinge just like a Zippo. But what you're not going to get with this lighter, which you will get with a real Zippo, is that guarantee. So if you do some Zippo tricks with this and this breaks, or if it just breaks with normal use, guess what? You got a broken lighter. Um, I, I highly, highly doubt, although I don't know for sure, but I highly doubt they're going to send you a new one because you broke your, your lid. That's why we buy Zippos, because Zippo has that unconditional, you know, full satisfaction warranty. If it's broken, you get it fixed, no matter what. That's why we love our Zippos. But anyway, that's it. Just an interesting little product, so I wanted to share with you guys. Um, if you do find, if you do buy this product, I'd love to hear feedback. I want to know if you're using it as a cigarette lighter, um, you know, how it, it performs for you with constant use. Like I said, my use is limited on this because of the, the, the use I'm using it for. Um, but uh, I love, like I said, to hear feedback. And of course, everyone else is going to want to know what it's like too. If you already have one of these, if you just happen to stumble across this, please let us all know in the comments what you think of it, if you had it for a couple months or a year, whatever. And if I do have issues with this or any gear, really, uh, I will do update videos on it. As I get more use on it in the future, you will see more uh, updated information on it. So, but for $11 so far, I've been extremely happy with it. It's very cool. Like I said, it's, it's a lot of novelty there, but there certainly is functionality. So that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. And you can look forward to more videos on some stuff from them. Bang good. It's just hilarious. All right, guys, just want to add one more thing here at the end. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to ask this. Can you take this insert out and put it in one of your Zippos because you may like a certain uh, case? You may have a sentimental attachment to some Zippo case, but you want this insert. You cannot do that. This insert is not the same size as a regular Zippo, and it also is held in by a screw. So not only will it not fit in a normal Zippo, but even if it did fit in a Zippo, you'd have to uh, drill a hole here, and you'd also have to mill out this section here in order to use the USB plug. So um, no, this will not, it's not interchangeable. This insert will not fit into any Zippo case. You just have this case. Although they have two different styles, this is the darker one, they also have a lighter chrome looking one. So. Just want to answer that question before anyone asks it because it's a very good question and I really wish it was interchangeable. In fact, if a company makes an insert like this that fits into a standard Zippo, it would sell really, really well. So if you're a company out there and you have the capability of doing that, by all means, get started on it because it's going to be a hot seller. But anyway, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care.